Plans to build a new terminal at KCI suddenly and surprisingly delayed, and tonight we got an inside look as to why. Yeah, this poll just released hours ago shows 63% of Kansas Cityans oppose the one terminal plan for the airport. New at 1041 Action News reporter Dia Wall spoke with a frequent flyer about today's decision. Boy, is he disappointed, Mike Henry Annan. But this was a shocker. No matter if you were a supporter of a brand new terminal, just some renovations, or just leaving KCI the way it is. Plans for a new terminal at KCI have come to a screeching halt. More than frustrating for this frequent flyer. Outrage. This is ridiculous. This is Kansas City. We're trying to be a world class destination, we're trying to be a world class city. And, uh, and we can't get something as simple as a new, ter new terminal that the airlines want to pay for. A poll of 800 people in Kansas City shows fewer than 40% thought a new terminal was reasonable. If we have so many people in town who are so set against something, then we should not move until that changes. The citizens. Uh, are not dumb, they're not stupid. I don't think they were that misinformed. I think they know exactly what they wanted, and that came out in the results of the poll. JL Johnson flies twice a month or more. He's concerned about the message this gives the airlines that have offered to pay for a new terminal like KCI. We're okay with the crumbling infrastructure, the cramped quarters, the poor experience, and the bad image that the airport gives Kansas City. Many city leaders seem to agree. It is our front door to Kansas City and it is one that we must showcase uh, in a manner that uh, it shows what the best of what Kansas City has to offer. This is an opportunity uh, unfortunately missed I believe at this stage. Kansas City can do better. City leaders tell me upgrading KCI has been discussed for more than a decade now, whether that means renovations or a new terminal. No telling now when those talks will resume. Live in Kansas City, Dia Wall, 41 Action News. I know it's been more than a decade. Mike first reported on it back 10 years ago. And city leaders stress this new terminal project is not canceled. It is delayed. But when the issue will take off again is what remains uncertain at this point. You have to wonder if they'll take a look at 2017 and maybe a low turnout municipal election, get it on the ballot there. Maybe they can control the turnout a little bit better and uh, try to make a run then. Kraski says a private polling will likely dictate when the city would put the issue on the ballot.